Hello everybody, uh, welcome to Chalice round 1, uh, Chalice number 42, round of 64, we've got Disguisers, Chaos, which look like underdogs because they've got the wizard, uh, versus the Fells Lizardman team, um, the Chaos team from what I can see doesn't look too hot, he has got a Claw Mighty Guard, Block Warrior, Claw Mighty Block Warrior, Blodge Guard, not a massive fan of that. Um, he has got a Super Goat, <coughs> Strength Up, Mighty Blow Tackle, uh, which is pretty good against Skinks, because uh, that's a free dice without assists on the Skink with Mighty Blow. Uh, he's got Ball Carrier, Blodge, Two Heads, Sure Hands, that's actually really nice. A couple of Guard Goats, um, that's about that. Rookie Crocs, Block Guard, Block Guard, Mighty Blow, Block, Mighty Blow, Blodge, Break Tackle, No Tackle. That is that? That is, that is a Frenzy, Mighty Blow, Pylon, Tackle, <laughs> Saurus. And then check this guy out. This guy is uh, Edge 4, Movement 9, Strength 3, Sidestep Skink. That... <laughs> <laughs> that is insanity itself. That is mental. He's actually got a loner, uh, which means that he only had 10 players going into this game. So, life of the claw. Live by the claw, die by the claw. He has also got himself a babe. Did you watch this yesterday? Uh, no, it was a different. It was a different lizard game. That was the one in the blizzards. That was... Uh, I can't remember. That was... Was it Pyro? No, it's one in a blizzard. Hello, Dadle. Get the ref, so that's a bribe for both coaches. I guess that suits the chaos? Oh, there's an instant KO. Was it the claw? It was the claw that did it as well. Uh, gets a push on the Crocs. When is Davo versus Trox? No idea. No idea. I'm not going to do it live anyway, because uh, that way I can do that. This is a, a strictly replay only. Nice and short. So he does get the pal on the Saurus. Uh, he's used both his claw places. He's going to hit the Crocs. Fair enough. Gets the pal. So a fantastic start for Chaos. Oh! Okay. So down a Saurus and down a Croxagore, turn one. That's probably like as good a start as you could hope for. Um, I'm assuming it's today at some point, but I don't know what time. Woke up to your concluding comments on Elliot's game. So got that spoiled. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I think Devo said he was away. He might be back though. Oh, what? Well, Andy's away. Uh, no idea, mate. They've, they've got until Wednesday to play it anyway, so it's not like a mad rush or anything. Like, I, I would have thought Andy would be streaming now if he was around. He normally streams on a Saturday daytime, doesn't he? Like, he streams all through from, like... Or maybe it's, like, 4 o'clock till, like, 10 o'clock. Or, like, midnight. Don't know. We'll see. So, Super Skink. Uh, what, what, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Hey, oh, he's just out of range. <laughs> he's just out of range. Obviously deliberate, but yeah, I'd be tempted as hell to hit that skink. Oh, here comes the frenzy. He pins a... No, he doesn't pin him on the side. I thought he was going to pin him on the side there. And he's just going to punch things with claw. I think I would have been more inclined to hit this guy. You can hit it here with block. No mighty blow though, I guess. I guess, yeah, just punch the sauruses, but Yeah, good luck, mate. Good luck. And, uh, yeah, just gets the push off there. This is awkward. This is awkward. I guess he's coming, like, here. Oh, right up here, yeah. Ooh, push, push. Okay. Gets the push there. It's 
surprised he didn't push this dude there because he would have been tied up. Like, the lizards look so like feeble without the Croxagore and their Extrasaurus. I mean, is he going to tackle Pom the Blodge Guard? I would keep this guy as close to that skink as possible. Like, genuinely. I would try and hit that skink. Like, <clears throat> there's a KO. Uh, that somewhat evens, evens it up a little bit. He's a guard player. But, like... I, I guess it, it's awkward for lizards, right? Because they've got to worry about the claw. Uh, and then... They've also got to make sure that this guy is safe. I mean, like, a lot of guys wouldn't have even fielded him, right? A lot of guys would have left him on the bench. But I think he's so good. Like, he's too good. There's the foul. And there's the Kaz. Oh, man. That's a, that was a move bust, I, I think I saw. A move bust. Apo works... So the Apo's gone for the Chaos. Uh, no bribe used. That, of course, was the kickoff uh, result, as uh, we saw earlier. The uh, get the ref, which gives both players a free bribe. And uh, used to full effect there from the Skink. So, who's he hitting? He's not taking a Claw Mighty Blow hit this time. So, he might be... He might be hitting a skink. I mean, that is a secondary reason to hit skinks, right? Because he, he's probably not going to foul with Sauruses. He is blitzing the sidestep. Gets the pal. Does he get the removal? I'm expecting, yes. Not even an armor break. Oh my god. Not even an armor break. Dodges the loner. Runs him up. Yeah, I thought he might foul there. He's got the bribe. AV what seven? Yeah, this is going to be mad amounts of pressure. And he's going to hit the the rookie. Uh... Palon ah, gets the Kaz. So the lizard coach has done really well to like. Uh, weather the storm. Like after the LOS, it looked rough, but he's since removed a Chaos Warrior and two goats, and that's really like it's really swung the balance. To be fair. Oh, I say that. <laughs> I might have spoken too early because that is a Chaos Warrior. There's an Apo as well. There's the Apos. Both Apos are gone now. Wow, this game's like pretty high intensity, straight to the point. Where's this ball going? So he's getting a building up a cage in the centre. There's only actually four Sauruses left on the pitch. Luckily, he's guaranteed one back. And these are just KOs and they're not at worse. Otherwise, it could be looking pretty rough for Lizards. And here, here's the, uh, well, kind of Venger bus cage. Was until there. He's not really fouled, is he? <laughs> he's not fouled the old chaos coach. Maybe he's not thinking about the bribe. Or maybe he's so interested in uh so interested in like caging the ball and stuff. I mean with the bribe I don't hate just taking the roll on that. That guy is insane. Only a push. That's strength 5 is awkward there. That's a push. Into a push. That's kind of awkward. That is really awkward. Uh, so we're halfway through the first half. There's a Kaz. This skink is uh, probably quite happy he's just been a bit ignored, right? There, in goes the guard, yeah, so this is the cage here, he's going to hit this. You can chain, like, maybe you chain the guard off there. Like, you need the power though, you need the power here. 
chain the guard off. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Push off here. Can he? I think he can hit the skink. Yeah, on a one D. <laughs> he can hit the skink. Oh, he gets him. He gets him. <laughs> and this is like that's the Kaz as well. And uh, my mouse has stopped working. Ah. Uh, we'll be right back. There we go. There it goes. So look at this. This lizard team is uh, starting to rack up the injuries. Two Kaz skinks. So he's going to be capped on 10 if he makes both KO rolls. Of course, Chaos are actually capped on 10 as well. There's another KO. That's a Chaos Warrior with Claw as well. This game has been like brutal. I, I guess there's quite a few uh, killy skills. There's quite a few on display. It's not like the most low TV blood bowl we've ever seen. But yeah, they're both potent. You still not got a new mouse? No, I haven't, mate. No, unfortunately not. Uh, I just like to hope that one day there's another KO. This is insane. Like, how many removals have we had so far? Like, there's one, there's five on the lizard side, and there's five on the KO side. That's that's a removal per turn per team. That is crazy. Like, this is just madness. And it could be another one here. No, just a push. Goes for the re-roll. Why not? You've got three re-rolls, three turns. Doesn't get the armor break this time. He's going to slip the ball in here. Oh, it's next to the guard at least, yeah. <laughs> Skink thought about it. <laughs> what is he? Where's he going? <laughs> He's like, uh, I'll put him over here. No, hang on a minute. No, I won't. So is this just going to be a random screen? Uh, you did, Kiwi Boy. Oh, I should change the title. I should change the title. Um, this is Eskizer versus Defel. Uh, let me see if I can change it now, actually. Is it to fell 15, isn't it? Or 115? Oh. No, 15. There's a wizard. Has he just bolted the skink? Wow, that. Uh, I guess he's got no tackle. That's. That's a rowdy use of the wizards. Foul it! I don't. I, I haven't seen this chaos guy foul once. I, I'm not sure he's. <clears throat> a is probably not registered that he's got a bribe, or B he just doesn't want to foul in case it gets called. And um, he hasn't really got a great deal of players. Just stolen about the pitch. Yeah. I mean, this sidestep can literally just dodge here, right, on a three plus with dodge, and then he's on the ball. And then he's, he's taking the 1D on Blodge. Yeah, the push is for... Oh. What? <laughs> what? Oh my god. You didn't. No. You did not just cash your own skink on the craziest greed reroll against the Blodger. Oh my god. Was that, was that an injury? Oh, he's just badly hurt. Oh my god. What the hell was that? <laughs> All he had to do was push him there. He's got a sidestep and he could have like just stood in front of him. I mean like his two heads. Like, I don't know. I guess he's like, I don't know. It's a 2D, right? Is it a 2, was it? It wasn't even a 2D, was it? Oh, it was a 2D, yeah, it was a 1 in 9. Without block against the Blodger. I don't know, mate. I, I don't know. I'm confused. You don't hate the reroll. Oh, I don't know. 
He's got sidestep though, so you could push him on the sideline, and then like put him like put like so the 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 sidestep skinks there. You push him on the sideline. You stand here, so if he blitzes you, you just sidestep there, and then like it's still a dodge out. Like I know it's two heads, AG. Well, it's not even AG4, is it? It's just two heads. So it's like it's still dice. Yeah, it's strength free, isn't it? Yeah, the skink's strength free. So, well, he'd ha he'd have to tag he'd have to tag the uh, sidestep skink. But yeah, I don't know. Like, that's huge. That is huge. Like, maybe, yeah, uh, maybe it's a, yeah. I don't know. But yeah, it's, it is really unfortunate. <laughs> like, really, really unfortunate. And that's like your best player gone. Let's switch this round. He's trying the one turner here. The frenzy actually really helps for this, to be fair. So he gets the push here. No, that's just a pal. That's just a pal. Diced with pals. Oh wow, and like all the Chaos KOs came back as well. So Chaos are actually at 10. I guess the Lizards uh, got the Crocs back. That Skink being out is crazy. <clears throat> Mere twelve percent to fail. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I've just rolled too many bad dice and I'm <laughs> I don't I just don't <clears throat> like I, I I think I would have just pushed him on the side and like stood round the front, honestly, is what I think I would have done. I guess then yeah, and then he just gets blitzed though. And you don't have block, do you? So Yeah, maybe just re roll it. And if you get the power, you scatter it off the pitch. But yeah, that's that's horrible for Defel. Absolutely horrible for Defel. Okay, he does actually get the chaos off the foul though, which is nice. So mighty blow down, which puts chaos down to nine. He gets the Saurus back. I think there was one bench, so it's nine apiece, I believe, nine apiece. But there's only two skinks on the pitch. And there is a mighty blow tackle strength four, blitzing on a strength five, horns goat. But the wizard's gone as well, so that's also a very important uh, note is the fact that there's no wizard in play for the chaos. Yeah, that is brutal. Absolutely brutal. Like, <coughs> he's lucky it's a badly hurt, to be fair. He's <laughs> super lucky it's a badly hurt. That could have been so much worse. And what was that? Extra reroll for both teams. Which is quite handy in the second half of an overtime format. So he gets a pout. That's a mighty blow hit on an AV8 goat. Uh, gets the KO. He's got a fair bit of mighty blow for a lizard team. This team, like he's got three sauruses with mighty blow, and there's another KO. Wow, this is like the LOS in the first half. <laughs> he's got the Croxagor. He's got three sauruses with mighty blow. It's, it's, this is probably one of the bashiest lizard teams I've seen for a while. <clears throat> Here comes the tackle pommer. <laughs> the tackle pommersaurus. Oh, it doesn't get him. And that is guard, so that's like a straight claw hit. Ah, oh, in goes the shrimp five, yeah. I was going to say, he kind of committed to that after uh, getting the pushes. No armor break there for the Crocs. Ball secured. What's he doing there? Saurus foul. Gets the armor break into a stun. And yeah, here goes the claw on the. Oh, double skulls. Into pal. <coughs> it follows it up, so he gets the extra hit on the sword. There's another KO. Like, what? The, what is the removal rate in this game? The removal rate in this game is insane. It's like 
Nobody can take a punch. Like, literally nobody can take a punch. They're all just getting absolutely smashed. Like, they're all tending to be KOs and stuff. And they're all coming back from KO, but, like, it's, it's still crazy. Like, Chaos started the half at, like... Oh, no, they started at 9, didn't they? Because uh, the Mighty Blow went on the, the turn 8 of the Lizards. But they're already down to 7. Which, against Lizards, is pretty pretty horrible. He has still got the two Claw guys, and he's got the Mighty Blow Strength guy, which is probably the, the ones that he really needs. The Ball Carrier as well, of course. Just to push there. Get that claw off my lizards. Another push. This guy is uh, doing some work here. <clears throat> no, <laughs> hello, there's a ball down here. <laughs> I don't think we're going to see anything to do with the ball for like another three turns, four turns. Huge pal. No armor break. I mean that's the first that's the first punch we've seen in a while that hasn't removed something. Like from the claw guys. <laughs> Look at this! It's like West Side Story. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. I just these four are just punching each other constantly and nothing else is happening. It's brilliant. Proper blood bowl. to push there. Uh, I guess he gets a claw hit round here. Does allow him to move the ball up. Ah, oh, he's going to do the foul. Gets the armor break into a stun. Cox the gore base in the ball carrier. Yeah, it's going to run around and hit this guy. Just a push, that's annoying. Can't really afford to re-roll it either. Pow there is good. This gives him a 2D here. Does he take the 1D? Oh, huge KO. Just KO Asaurus. No mighty blow. No claw. <laughs> no! Rerolls it into a push. So it's now two re-rolls for the Chaos uh, versus four re-rolls for the Lizards. I mean, there's no way for him to do it, but the, the one thing I've noticed between the two teams is the Lizards have been fouling, right? The Lizards have been fouling and the Chaos haven't been fouling. I, I know it's not been easy for them. Like, I definitely appreciate that. But it, there was a couple of couple of opportunities to foul. Like, like not great fouls, like no assist foul on the Skink. Like a one assist foul on a Saurus, like, but there there were opportunities, and I I think maybe he should have just uh, gone for one or two of them. Still got the bribe. There's the first reroll use for the lizards. There's a KO. Like this is crazy. At least this one was mighty blow. It's like they're literally just banging on each other until <laughs> until there's no one left and then just walking it in. It's <laughs> it's just mental. Like I've never seen such a bangy lizard team really, to be fair. They've normally all just got guard. <coughs> guard and block. Like the fact that he's got two like he's got a four skill Saurus here and a triple skill Saurus there. And a four a five skill Saurus there. I don't think I've ever seen a Saurus with five skills in CCL. There's the boneheads. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I was going to say he has to blitz backwards. He needed an armor break there, to be fair. I guess a ball... No, you can't even bring the ball in there. You could bring the ball over here. Don't even need to move it, I guess. So we're just eating down the clock. 
I don't know if I like like there's no pressure on the ball at all like they, they've just engaged in this fight and they haven't won it either they haven't won the fight and like the lizard guy just wants to run down the clock and you kind of okay there is the fight <laughs> there's another KO on a Saurus without multi blow it's just insane yeah here we go there's a bit of pressure now he uses the re-roll, so he's down to one re-roll. Finally a bit of pressure. I guess you put the Croxagor on him. There's another bonehead. This is like the first time we've seen some pressure. Oh, okay, it's just screening off. So it's one, two, three, four. I think that's a hit on the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There is a hit on the ball there. One, two. Oh, stop moving the goddamn camera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like it's not even like it's a three plus two plus two plus, and he can hit the ball. And he's not hitting the ball. That was weird. How many games did he play on ladder? I'll have to have a look at the end of it. <clears throat> he forgot the boneheads. I mean, he could go either way. It wasn't. It wasn't even a case of the fact that he forgot the bonehead. Like he could have gone this way and he could have gone that way. It was a three plus two plus two plus. If he hadn't have squandered like a couple of rerolls, like at this stage, like if he sacks the ball at this stage, like he probably wins. Like he probably wins. So I, I I probably would put the reroll in as well. And like the thing is is now that skink that skink is like so fast it just walks down the pitch. Like and he's in range. No no one can reach him. Oh unless he fails the GFI. This is <laughs> What is going on? I mean this guy Okay, that's better. Uh, I mean that's a that's a two plus dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI. It's a two plus dodge. Oh dear. I I, I <laughs> the ball protection has not been uh, absolutely amazing in this one. Uh, not amazing. Like, needs work. Yeah, I've already, I was on it, little Baz. Ah, does he get it? He fails the GFI. Oh, makes the GFI. Ah, oh, gets a push. Luck a dog. Luck a dog. That was, uh... Terrifying. I mean, like, if he makes this GFI, it's... Okay, and that's a croc splits. Like, if that bone is. I mean, it doesn't. He'll probably just dodge off anyway. But then, like, that's crocs. That's a 1 in 9. Alright, it's a 1 in 9 either way, right? So it's. Yeah, I mean, it's a 1 in 9 either way. Whether he takes the block without. But he's got the re. Oh uh, yeah, I guess it's well. It's a loner reroll, so in fact, he probably should have just dodged there. He probably should have just dodged rather than blitz with the crocs, because if he fails with the crocs, it's a loner reroll. So if he rolls a one in nine, and then he yeah, has to loner reroll it. Well, I guess a loner reroll is better than no reroll at all, because it's just a one in nine dodge anyway, isn't it? So maybe the crocs is the better option actually, and you might have the chance of like killing his ball carrier as well, I guess. Who's won the toss? Oh, this is uh, turn 16. Yeah, maybe it is the Crocs, actually. Even though it's only a loner reroll. At least there is a loner reroll, whereas there's no loner reroll on the dodge, is there? And it's. I mean, it, yeah, it's turn 16 anyway, so it's. 
and you can you might get SPP on your crops. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> this game has been absolutely ah oh, smashed movement allowance. So that's that's like basically an MNG as well. Like so, if he wins this, he's not going to be in the next game. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Ah! Oh man, this is brutal. This is br the whole game has been brutal. I mean, they've only really been KOs. How many players are left? He's got, he's got five players on the pitch. <laughs> he's got five players on the pitch. There are a couple of KOs. So I think oh, here comes the foul. The first foul, the turn 16 respect foul. You watch, you'll get sent off, and they'll fail the bribe <laughs> the first time he fails. Alright, guaranteed armor break. Only a stun, no send off. And let's see, like, so what are these KO rolls looking like? And he's only got two Saurus to come back. He's still got both the skinks from the first, like, from the second half. Ah, so lizards win the toss. So, what? I mean, look at that. <laughs> look at that. So, is this. Right, this is move bust. Was that move bust already? Or is that is that the one that just got move bust? That is just the one that just got move bust. That was badly hurt. Oh, that's strength busts. So that's a dead skink. This was badly hurt. This is move busts. That's no bad. And that's just dead. And he failed both his KO rolls. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It's brutal. It's brutal. This is why, like, lizards aren't that popular in CCO, I guess. Because when you get to this TV, if you play against Chaos, like, you just get murdered. Especially in overtime format as well. Like, he's like, like this. This isn't even like the best Chaos team. Like, you, you're gonna see. Like, this is like two claw mighty blow guys. It's like it's it's not even that. Our oh, pitch invasion. Well that helps. <laughs> that helps. Uh gets the knockdown. He's got two re Oh it doesn't get the knockdown. It's the push. I guess we're what? Uh blitzing. Yeah. Uh and you gotta come around here. Okay. And then do you pick it up and hand off? Or do you just pick it up? He's handing off, yeah. Pick it up and hand off, and off you go. Dodges as well. I don't think he can be caught with the GFIs. Yeah, he can't be caught. That's it! <laughs> GG! <laughs> Easy as that! Pitch invasion absolutely wrecked the Skyzer. I mean, he can base the ball, right? Why push the warrior that way? I mean, it doesn't really. M well, I don't know. I thought it was weird, but I don't know. Even without pitch invasion, that was dumb. Yeah. He rolled a lot of dice. Yeah, all man's the lion. It's easy though. Like I don't know. I don't know. It's easy. Yeah, he should Denver all man's the lion. That was pretty dumb. Yeah. But, uh. Yeah, he did leave the base in possibility, didn't he? He left the, uh. 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus. What a game. Like, I mean, that was brutal, right? That <laughs> was absolutely brutal. Uh, like, I want to say congratulations to the fell, but I, I don't know if he's going to see it that way. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to see it that way. He's down a Crocs, a Skink, and a Saurus for his next game, which is horrendous. Uh, he won the good game there, though, like, to be fair. Uh, especially without the Super Skink as well in the, the second half. I mean, the, the, the Super Skink is absolutely fine, so there is that. Uh, he is going to be playing. Let's have a quick look and see who Defel's got. 
So Defel is playing. Oh yeah, this was the right. So yeah, so I did I did the Ginny fix uh, Washburn replay the other day, which was Lizards against Chaos. Uh, funnily enough, Lizards won that one as well. So he's got Ginny fix in a Lizard mirror uh, going into round of 32. Um, which is probably going to be awful for both coaches. Uh, from memory, Ginny Fix has like a double move up skink. Um, <laughs> and then obviously he's got a strength up, agi up, movement up skink. Um, he's obviously missing a Saurus. He's not got a Crocs. I don't know how much money he had in the bank before that game. Um, but yeah, it's going to be brutal. But uh, ent that was entertaining at least. That was uh, a very entertaining <laughs> chalice game. And uh, yeah, congratulations to Phil. Uh, you're through.